I will read a very final prose piece. Um, and uh, it's also inspired by Estonian mythology. We have this material, swan bone. In swan bone. Did I pronounce it right? Swan, the bird. Sva swan bone. And this material is a material that impossible, miraculous things are made of. It's strange how these old people were thi thinking, but traveling much in the world, I thought that I have to have a kind of secret reason why I travel. And I thought that maybe I'm looking for my favorite city in the world. And I found it's not so easy to find it. Every big city has also the negative sides. And um, this piece is about it. Swan Bone City. I once saw a man at the seashore who was collecting the bones of birds from between the stones. I thought he must be an ornithologist and I was just about to pass by when something caught my eye. The man's movements were young and nimble, but the look in his eyes was more than a thousand years old. Who are you? I'm an architect and a lover, he answered, but the girl I want to marry won't have me until I've built a city that flies as high as her dreams. I've already built her a world full of cities, some of them with houses rising right up to the clouds. She always accepts the new city, happily licks ice cream on park benches and walks proudly along the city streets adorned with life. But when I approach her, full of hope, she replies, this isn't it, and vanishes into the crowd. Maybe you've chosen the wrong girl, I ask doubtfully. No, there's nothing wrong with the girl. Stones are too heavy, wood burns too easily, swan bones are hollow inside, they carry high up into the air and hold the living spirits and dreams together. This time she will get her city, the man said and bent down again over the stones. A city of swan bones, I thought as I walked away. I'd like to live there too.